Welcome back to the Shumanati Show, guys. Today is the fourth day of the Cali in Vegas vlogs. I'm here at the hotel SLS with the wife. We're actually about to go out. We're about to go hit the outlet right now. So I'm gonna be hitting them Nike, Adidas, Puma, and a bunch of other shoe stores. Let's see what we can find in the outlets in Vegas. So let's get it, man. It's the Shumanati Show. Let it go. So offhand, just strolling through the Adidas outlet, I have to give it a thumbs up. They actually have some decent stuff in this outlet, so I'm proud of the Adidas outlet. They got a thumbs up for I gotta give it to Vegas though. Their outlets are actually better than ours in Georgia's. We pretty much got trash in our Adidas outlets and there's no boost. So I actually gotta give the Vegas outlets a thumbs up since they actually have boost in their Adidas outlets. Salute. OG style, the Adidas superstar with the shell toe. You can never go wrong with a classic. These are just classic, classic like these. Adidas tubular instinct. All right, man, I wanted to get my guy in here, man. This is an employee that I met who worked for Adidas Outlet. Looked out, showed a lot of love, dropped game on me. Anything you want to say, man? Let these people know. I'll just check out his blog. All right, appreciate that. You got a YouTube, Twitter, anything you want to shout out? It's my Snapchat. C-R-R-I-L-I-T-O. Hit, like hit him up on Snapchat. I'll drop it on the screen as well. So support this, man. Show that love, man. Appreciate you looking out for me, man. Showing right. love, man. Shout out, man. Appreciate you all day, man. So fresh out of the Adidas store, it was a success. The wife picked up a couple of items, but it was actually pretty solid in there. But let's keep the vlog rolling. I hope you guys are enjoying. Make sure you hit that thumbs up and continue to support the channel. Let's go. A few moments later. All right guys, so we're heading into the Nike outlet. Get it. Some of the new Nike jerseys. Hopefully they don't tear easy. What we got here? We got Kevin Durant with his snake ass. Wait a minute. LeBron 14s. What are these? I've never seen this colorway before. That bottom? What kind of fire? If you know what these are, let me know. I know. What are these? We got a size 15 University Blue. These dropped a month or two ago, but sitting in a Vegas outlet, only one shoe though. Buy another one. Got a size 12 of these Kyrie's. White and blue, I'm not familiar with this colorway, but not bad. They don't clear it, so I'm sure it's probably 30% off. Top ripped off. Shout out to Just For Kicks 212, he put me up on the jug, so I gotta get with him. So what do we have here? Got a little sock dart action, $69.99. That's not a bad price, but you can definitely find these for a cheaper price in an outlet in Atlanta, but A little OG Hirachi action. Fun fact, I actually do not like Hirachis. I despise them. I've never owned a pair of Hirachis and I never would because I think they're ugly, but I can respect the classic when I see it. Got some OG Hirachis on. The N7 Jordan Lunar Superfly. Garbage, but they're here. We doing some trap vlogging today. I'm on my vacation. I don't give a fuck who watching. I'm gonna continue to do my vlog in this goddamn outlet and I don't give a damn. Let's get Let's get to the meat and potatoes of this vlog. These are the Kyrie 3. Got the triple black colorway. You can find these pretty cheap online. That price, I definitely would not pay because you can get these for like 60 bucks online. So, 
triple black Kyrie. Not bad, but not my style. Got that KD9. I think this the his colorway. We got the LeBron 14 low. These are just ass juice. I don't know what this is, but take it off the shelves immediately. Don't even charge for these. Just give them away. These are fucking garbage. Here we got a LeBron 14. This is like a cool gray colorway. I mean, they loaded up on LeBrons in here. They got mad runs, so. Here we got the Kobe AD in that red colorway. Actually like the outsole, but I'm actually feeling these. This is the Mamba Instinct in a red colorway. I like that. The Mamba logo on the tongue. These are actually really clean. I have to check and see if they got my size. These aren't bad at all. I actually just tried these on. The biggest size they have is 11 and a half. I'm a 12 and this is killing my foot. Definitely gonna need a 13. These are clean. I don't remember this colorway on the 14, but these kind of remind me of like the Christ Kings. Like these are dope. The brown 14 in that Cleveland colorway. Got here, KD9s. Mm, trash. It's a PG1 sitting on the outlets. Not bad at all. I think he's still sitting in the mall for full retail, so not bad. Wait a minute, what we got here? We got some Jordan 31 lows? <laughs> I guess. Bruh, these gonna have Supreme all over them. These will be going for 400 right now. But, nope, they're sick. More PGs. I remember this colorway. I thought this was limited. I guess not. It's outlet bound. OG all white Air Maxes. Got the perforated Air Jordan 1s in the black colorway with the white outsole. This is actually a size 12. Let me check the prices. 130. I wonder if these might be on clearance. I'm about to check the price on these. The all white Rodmans. I don't even remember the all white ones releasing, but it's sitting here at the outlets. 11 and a half. We got the Pagel Rodmans. I don't even remember these releasing, but. I would think something like this would be limited and worth some money, but I guess not. At a size 11, they're just sitting here, the Rotmans, but they're the Pagels. I don't even remember these releasing, but I guess, are these limited? Let me know in the comment section down below. They're just sitting in the outlet right now. Got the Oreo LeBron Soldiers. Hold on, bruh. That's what I'm talking about. What size is this? Uh, it looks a little too big for me. Got here. I don't know what these are, but the Air Jordan ones, I don't know about the elephant print, but. All right guys, so I'm headed out of the Nike outlet. They had a little bit of stuff, but nothing really just worthy of copping, but let me know in the comment section down below, what did you guys think about the outlet? I think it was nice, it was decent. Had a little bit of stuff in here, definitely more than we would have in our outlets in Georgia, but nothing still worthy of copping. But let's keep the vlog going. We know how we get down, it's grown. All right, guys, so we're heading to the Reebok store. Let's get it in and see what they got. Uh-oh, there go the new Yeezys. There go that fire, that dad heat. Ain't that what you hype beast into now? We getting rid of the, the nostalgias and the Jordan ones and we going with the ugly dashes, because that's what Kanye wear. You fucking hype beasts need to be thrown in the gas chamber. So the one piece of heat I actually find in here, and it's in the kid size, I wonder if they got any more questions left. We'll go look at some. We got some Zuku runners and that nylon neon colorway, which isn't bad at all, man. It's actually kind of clean. So I found the biggest heat that they have in the Reebok store. They actually got the alien stumpers, guys. And right when I thought it wasn't nothing in the Reebok store, it came through in the clutch. The Iris and Fours actually are my size, the size 12. This is the answer for. I'm definitely might grab these man these definitely might get copped i wasn't expecting anything to be in the reebok store but these happen to pop up and they happen to be in my size these like just released maybe like two three weeks ago and they're already in a reebok outlet so let me check the price and i might have to um snag these up so, so we'll see got the instant pump furies in the oreo colorway at black and white oh geez man reebok gives me a little bit of hype behind it but they even got some decent models that can help push the brand harder. They just, they gotta keep working, man. But I like Reebok, always have. No hype, man. A few moments later. All right, guys, let's head in the shoe palace, see what they got. Let's 
So we decided to shoot pallets, hit some of the aisles up, see if they got anything different from usual from the Cali store compared to Vegas. So let's go. Gold action. Anybody who knows me know I'm not into phone boxes, but if I was, I would definitely think about reaching out with these. UT action. version of the EQT as well. Alright. Olive Ultra Boost 3.0. Got your laceless Ultra Boost. My tongue is a little weird, but not bad. I don't know how that lacing system is. Guess you have to try and one to really see. But not bad. The City Sock and the Shishiko colorway. I actually seen these when we were in LA. And the R2 in that Japan pink colorway. I've actually never seen these, but R2 NMD still have not tried the R2. I prefer the R1, but these are bad. Let me know in the comment section down below what do you guys think about these. First time seeing these in hand. This is a awkward colorway, but they're not bad. Pretty clean, something different. Nothing much in this store, pretty much the typical retros that everybody looking for. It's pretty much sitting right now. The cool gray eights, got those playoff eight brids, the re released, re flipped versions. You got them cement fives. It's pretty much about it in this shoe palace. Let's keep it moving. Alright guys, so this is the end of the outlet vlog. I had a really good time. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We walked around Adidas, Nike, we walked around a bunch of stores, but this is the end of the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit the thumbs up on this video, clickety click that like button. I appreciate you guys taking time out of the day to support me, support the channel, support the movement. This is the new wave. This is the Shumanati show. I'll see you guys in the next one. Illuminate. So you know how we do about this time. It's grown and I approve this message. Intangible entertainment. We famous, bitch. Even in Vegas, it's grown. I'm gone. Intangible entertainment. We famous, bitch. All right, guys. So we're walking around the outlets in Las Vegas. They actually have a $1 key master that you can play. And they actually got a little bit of heat in here, man. This is one key master, and this is the second one. One dollar plays, man. Should I do a little hype beast and get a little play one? Hopefully, I might hit throw a couple dollars in here. Why not, man? We feed the beast a little bit. I am feeling a little hype beast. Let's get it. All right, guys. So I'm about to hit the key master up. Let's get it in right now. Wish me luck. Let's see guys, let's see, can we get a little beluga action man, can we get some beluga action? Nope, too high, I'm feeling a little hype beast, we're gonna go one more time. what it is you can't win them all i think they got my two dollars and i'm petty gang anyway so frugal gang so it's time to slide out of here you got enough of my money the key master was cool i think that's actually dope that they got a key master on the side of uh outlet mall so we're gonna keep it rolling i'm out of here it's grown <laughs>